Hi everybody, welcome back. Hope you can hear me all right. All right, let's get uh, let's get to it. What I was doing yesterday. All right, hi Bruce, hi Fry, hi newbie, hi Elias, Finley, Jack, Lee, everybody. Once it starts moving too fast, I can't read that fast. <laughs> hey, Diesel. Yeah, Happy New Year to everybody uh, that I didn't say hello to yesterday. I do like this Pollock transport truck, but I might have to take something else out. Hi, Ashley. What's it? I wonder what the Merc sounds like. I don't know if he's done a good Merc on here as Marky. Let's give it a try. See what it sounds like. Hi, Welsh Trucker. How's it going? And Hector, Oran, Lucas. Thanks for loving the vids. Makes a does does mean a lot. Hi, Cody, Ryan. Hi, Gamer Man. Fanatic Shifter is back in Scotland still, so it'll be a while before. Well, not a while, but won't be too long before I go and get it. So. Right. I don't know if this sounds good. I, I, I like a truck that really sounds good, so I can't be doing with that one. That's not good at all. Hiya, John. How's it going? Hope everything's looking a little bit brighter for you. Ooh. Let's take the big fellow out. Hiya, Emma. Hi, Ruben. Marky Helping Emma set up, still setting up the uh, the Xbox. Oh, that's not a bad sound, that. Oh, I'm going with that. Definitely. Right, hi Jordan, hi Toby. Great to see everybody. Sorry we were a little bit late today. Um, well, to be fair, we're, we're able to do this kind of thing now because of... Uh, me being here all the time, but I promise you, we've been busy. Poor Mark's not stopped all day. Uh, nice to see Sean Jones a couple of times today, so <laughs> it's, it's nice when people are local. I'm I'm not used to not seeing people, so it's been quite strange, but ve but very very nice. That's good, John. Uh, I think you you got sorted with the uh, the other the other thing. Which is good. Mark's, Mark's never stopped on the phone today. He's been like a little um, secretary. Oh, Emma, really? You've hit 200 subscribers. Oh, massive. Congratulations on that. Isn't it a good feeling, though? Yeah, well, very, very well done, Emma. Uh, richly deserved. And uh, I think you said you were going to be number one in the company, did you say? Make sure all my lights work. Uh, I know, John, I know he's, you know, it, it's just when you know someone's wanting a bit of help and it's, um, yeah, it, it, it's not, not good really when, uh, but try and help people when you can. Right, where am I going to? I'm going to. Well, I could take the one down to Mets actually. That's a good idea. I think I'll go down that one. Hi, Callum. Hi, Neil. Uh, yeah, good, Malcolm. Good to speak to you. Yeah, as I say, Christmas been mad been really really mad but uh, we're, we're getting sorted we've been trying to get the house sorted as well for Emma as, as a lot of people know Emma's well to want a better word vacated her living room so that Mark and I could use it as a games room which for many reasons does make a lot of good sense a, I don't have to go upstairs and B Mark doesn't have to go upstairs as much so it, it is a massive bonus, but you also want Emma to be very, very happy in the other room she's using. So 
Mark's doing his utmost to make sure that is what's happening. John playing Fortnite. Well, we've actually got the Xbox yesterday, and we're also <laughs> getting an Xbox S, which Sean again has brought around for us. Uh, we've got a little swap for for Sean, which he was happy with. So. Uh, <laughs> hiya Wylip. I'm, I'm loving the GoPro like that, absolutely. Got so used to, you know, we're, we're putting the face cam in is, is easy to do. Uh, but like I say, Max just that busy at the moment, so we, we will get it done. Hiya Ben H, how's it going? I know, Ruben, I was looking at the special transport. Is it only available in certain places? I looked for it yesterday. Uh, one, of, uh, the, one, one of our friends between Mark and I, uh, someone we've known for a lot of years through the cycling, very, very special to myself as a, as a young family as well, and just seeing how someone's done it, was round as well at tea time, so... But his young son was in, he's got an Xbox for Christmas, but he was playing um, Forza at tea time. So anyone saw me logged on in Forza at tea time, it wasn't myself, it was uh, it was just a, a young lad. Enjoying triple screen, wheels, support and all that kind of carry on. Really, really get a kick out of watching that. Hello Oz, how's Oz Farmer? I hear very warm down there, Oz. Right, uh, fire by misfire, wanting the Discord link. So, I'm sorry the ones in the description keep getting broken. It's We keep putting them in, and for some reason they keep breaking. I don't know why oh, that is. Yeah. Wow, thanks Hector. I'm sorry that didn't come up on the screen, and I know why. Uh, because I've just put the... Um, the video coming I need to put it in a different place so I do apologize about that oh yeah I was on, honestly and uh, many many well sorry a very very happy new year to yourself and your good lady and Charlie hope he's doing well hope things on the farm are good thanks Nathan as always how are you my good friend you have a good new year or just quiet Right, or is it Mark and doesn't want to chat, so you are... Uh, Connor, I'm not... Yes, I'm on GoPro, yeah. It, the GoPro is above my head, but it's not attached to my head. Mark normally has it on his head, so... But yeah, I mean, when the chat moves very, very quickly, it's very, very difficult to catch it. Um, there's a few people have, have noticed, you know, how, how do you actually keep up with it and either race or drive. It uh, is a little bit of a... <laughs> A handy skill. Um, that's not my. Ah, you sort your nan out good, good Nathan. I do like that. Tricks for the family. Ah, Kieran, yeah, loving that. That's good. I mean, I, I was going to try a bit of uh, American trucks in, but I hadn't had been on long enough to get it uh, sorted. So when I was trying to get it launched, it was crashing. So I thought more Euro truck. I used to uh, play in every day, you know, Mark likes it to be on every day, so I thought it's very, very easy to do, and, I, and I've actually really been enjoying it. Love, love this view, though. Hiya, Gary. Welcome back. Uh, English Nightmare, I'm actually in Sean Jones's rig. <laughs> he's, uh, he's bought and paid for it, so as soon as mine comes down the road, Sean can come and get it. He's been very very kind to uh, to let me use it until I get mine so I do really really appreciate that a really nice couple yeah uh, I'll be on for more than an hour uh, that's the beauty as I say because I'm here all the time now um, there's not really a specific time we have to stick to so 
and while Mark's been able to help Emma, which uh, again he couldn't before, it, it is nice of him. I really, really appreciate it as well, you know. So, uh, Finley, the wheel is a Porsche replica wheel. Uh, I'm not sure which G. It, I'm not sure if it's out the GT car or someone might be able to tell me. I don't know if it's the GT3 one or another one I'm thinking of. Or GT2, can't remember. But it, every bit as good as the BMW wheel, you know. We were able to show Sean today because he was asking a bit about fanatic wheels and that. And it's, it's difficult when you can't see them or hold them or, or compare them, you know. So there's one good advantage when we can help people like that. Hiya Sean, hiya Diego. Hey, yeah, use mods. This profile was a profile created by Mark, so it's got Mark's trucks in. Uh, mine are on a, another hard drive in me, in me old m machine down there, so it, it honestly we just have really been that, that busy doing stuff. Oh, Nathan, birthday on Saturday, right? I've got a shame yet. What kind of age are you looking at? Are you 30 yet? Hello, Mark, over in Romania. And as I say, if I do miss miss something that you ask, please ask it again. It's not a problem. We do miss things. Uh, I think Diego. I think Mark did use cheat engine for this one because it was a this was a multiplayer um, account. So you don't want to grind all your money for using on multiplayer. So if I'm going to be doing it more regularly, then um, I, I do, do really quite fancy starting one from scratch again. You know, Diego from Portugal, please you could join. Twenty-seven. Right, just a slight younger than younger than our Mark. Right, uh, hi Luke. I know an English nightmare. I mean, as you can appreciate, with the, as I was saying, the, the things that have been going on, uh, Max just hasn't had the headspace for it. Not to do it justice, and you don't want to where you get uh, fed up and, and, and miffed. And. Uh, yeah, it, 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 like I say, if he's got the headspace for it, um, he, he would be on. Ooh, big day, 29th of March. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to keeping me up to up to date. You know, I mean, just because I've had uh, things going on myself, it doesn't mean I, I don't still want to hear from everybody. And anybody who chats to me through Facebook, I'm, I'm happy to do that. Uh, right. Yeah, uh, my SKR, SKRS is broken. The one that Max it's getting sent away. The other one is actually laid on the floor uh, down at the bottom. I can't really show you where it is, but um, it really just needed screwing in. We need to put a powered USB in for the uh, for the back of the rig, uh, but the rig's going to have to come apart anyway so uh, it's just something we haven't uh, plugged back in very very easy to do when are we playing Forza Jordan I don't know I mean see the beauty is we can really just do and get to the point where we can just stream whenever we have the opportunity there's going to be no really set times of day or anything like that really we can schedule a stream and and just get on with it, you know. So a lot more opportunity for us. It is just taking the getting the groundwork sorted out, so we're all comfortable. Very very important to get Emma sorted and comfortable, you know. That's good, Nathan. Yeah, definitely want to hear from it. As I say, just because I've had uh, things going on myself, I I still want to be able to hear from you I know Gary uh, I mean I've been very very lucky I mean Sean tr tried this seat today and I did say to him because 
I've been comfortable in it. Um, last night was in a little bit too long, you know, but you know it was worth it because uh, it was good good chat with everybody, you know. But uh, on the whole, been very very uh, comfortable with it. Having the adjustable back does help a little bit. It's a, it's a little less fiddly, and if you're going to have a couple of people sitting in it, you just need that a bit of adjustability. But my fixed seat is uh, is awesome, and I, I'm looking forward to getting that back. But you know, I can't complain. Oh, Nathan, I mean, it's <laughs> yeah, you, you you can only just do your best, and I'm sure you, you know you you will do your best uh, going on into the army and that you know, and there'll be days where you just everyone gets it where you just think well you know is it worth it but that's all you can do you can only do your best can't do any more are you mr heisenberg and cars cars and stuff like your name i do like that right chris and are you sarah let's get us from the big arctic I mean, like I say, the ones that Mark uses and that are on and off the rigs a lot when he was using them, so it's very, very easy to get the cable damaged. So we, we would far rather send them back off to Almar to get them sorted properly. Ah, Chris. <laughs> I mean, there's a couple of Chris's in, to be fair. So, but yeah, welcome, welcome in. Right. Uh, Fire by Misfire is wanting the Discord link again, if anyone could help. I'm sure somebody will do that for you. Hiya, big boy from Latvia. Ah, Ben, how's it going, Ben? Sorry we haven't been on getting any racing on at the moment, Ben. It's, it's been a bit, has been a bit manic to say the least. Uh, but we're doing our best. Last time and a lot of time was... I know Nathan, I, you know, you can't underestimate how hard that might might be to be away from home in the army. I've not experienced that myself. I've not worked away out of the country. I've worked different parts of the country, but nothing nothing like that. Hello Babylon, how's it going? Hey Babylon, was were you the first person to get a nickname on the channel? Eh, uh, Gary, um I've got a couple of wheels, I mean I brought a couple down with me anyway because they were easy enough to carry and I knew, you know, you'd rather wear your own uh, suede rim out than somebody else's. The Porsche wheel's leather, so it doesn't matter. Um, so I've got a couple of universal hubs, which are great because you can put any rim you want on. So they really, really are. Uh, John Griffin was selling one and we were telling Sean who have managed to do a deal with to get him his first V1 base. He's taken the pedals off the rig as well, which is fantastic because they've not been hammered at all. And uh, he, at least he knows the equipment works as well. So, But the Universal Hubs are so versatile because it's so easy to put a different rim on it. Hiya Gareth, hiya Toby, hiya Lewis. Uh, no, I haven't got pro mods in at the moment, Lewis, and um, Mark's just a little bit busy helping him at the moment, so you've just got me for the evening. Hello, Richard, all the way up in Shetland. Oh, Ben, you're at work. I like that little clip you sent me. Uh, ben, ben sent me a little clip all the way from down under, just of him walking into work, but it's quite good, actually, seeing where somebody else is is going to work you know something that they do every day but um, for the likes of me who's at home a lot it, it is really really nice to see I like I like that kind of thing that's probably why I like the Facebook page so much I like seeing what everyone's up to you know on the on the Facebook group uh, fire by misfire now the 5m server um, I'm not sure if Mark can answer that for you. How does someone now apply for the 5M whitelist? Just use the discard link. Yeah, we've got that sorted. So, yeah, Nathan's been putting it in. So, yeah, just use the discard link. As you heard, Marky, there's everything there you need. 
Ooh, Ben, I, is it the, um, what's the first one of the year? Is it Daytona? I'm trying to think back to last year, or is it, um, is it the one down under, down, down your neck of the woods? Because there's a 12, is it 12 hours at, at Bathurst, isn't there? I just can't remember which comes first. Uh, I think Daytona. You know the Rolex. <coughs> comes on so fast, doesn't it? Uh, truck I'm in at the moment is a. It's a large Scania. This one. Uh, you know, one of them big, mahusive ones. Oh, nearly crashed it. Don't go to two camera on the. <laughs> Not when you're on a bend. Ah, John, I think it's Daytona, so... I know, I was talking to Mark about it, Ben. Um, I mean, the thing is, we both like to be on together, but the possibility of us each doing 45 minutes or something like that um, and swapping over would be pretty... It, it, it must be doable. And having a few other people that we could uh, change with as well, you know, so. But we've, we've just got to get into the, the routine that we've got now and, and um, make the best of, uh, of what we can do, you know. Certainly going to be a lot easier to manage than it was. Right, Lewis. Uh, Christmas, you've got a ticket to go racetrack in South Wales and I can pick any car. Uh, you must, Lewis, there must be something that you can pick from. I don't know many that would give you a, a blank canvas. My brother got one and it was, I think it was a, a supercar experience. And one of the cars was, now I don't know whether it was a Lamborghini or, or, or McLaren. I'm, I, I can't quite remember, but um, they just wouldn't let you go any speed you wanted. They were quite um, careful. But you still got the experience of, of being in it, but you couldn't go over a certain speed, and, and as you can imagine, it quite a handful. McLaren 720. I mean, if they've got something like that, I mean, it must be awesome. Um, I think the same with uh, rallying, isn't it? You know, I always wanted to go on a, uh, like a rally experience weekend. But the, yeah, it's got to be worth doing. Hiya Trevor, how's it going? Yeah, not, not too bad, you know, we're, we're all just getting settled in and, you know, sort of pull around after Christmas, Emma's been back at work and so, yeah, just, just getting, still getting the house sorted and, oh, nearly. Uh, Jordan, you like playing? That's good. I'm, I'm really, really pleased. I don't mind anyone joining. As I say, my, myself this afternoon tea time. It wasn't wasn't myself playing. It was uh, it was just somebody's first time. Quite an amazing watching people when they, yeah we saw so used to playing on these these rigs. Not that you take it for granted, but you kind of just used to it. So. It, it is nice watching a young lad, uh, <laughs> and you know fine well he's going to go and bend his, his mum and dad's ear about what he wants. <laughs> but he's more than welcome to come round and, and do it any time. Uh, Diego, he wanted more Forza for... Uh, as long as people like it, you know, I mean, we are going to be able to... Because we've got two channels, we can use the YouTube channel and the Twitch channel, so we don't have to play the same game on each. Alright, do I buy GTA 5 for... Always a personal choice, Dan. Always personal. If you can't really tell anyone to buy anything, but... If it's a good deal and you're going to get some good use out of it, go for it. I mean, you get access to 5M then. Uh, G 
Jill, <laughs> watching in my bed. Hello, Jill, in your bed. <laughs> I'm probably allowed to say that as a single person now, aren't I? <laughs> Hello Ernie, how's it going? Hope you're well, my friend. Viper, thanks very much for that. Yeah, let's let let's hope it's a it's a good year this year. Uh, oh, Jordan, girlfriend, what's her name? Can't just say you've got a girlfriend and keep it to yourself. Uh, oh, good night, John. Nearly missed you there. You take it easy. Please, we're able to get some sort of stuff sorted for you today. One minute, and I'll find out. Right, if you've got to take a minute to find out what your girlfriend's name is, it doesn't really. I think you're doing it wrong. Hey, Mustafa. Oh, Connor, girlfriend called Rebecca. Yeah, let's get all the girlfriends shouted out. I know John's is Ellie. Well, they're married, so. Yeah, wait like wait till I get one for myself. That would be very, very strange. After 40 years getting a girlfriend. Hey, Kenny. Yeah, so if I get a girlfriend, that would only be the <laughs> third girlfriend I've had. <laughs> so that'd be really strange. I know Nathan, uh, yeah, uh, obviously very, very much like myself. Mine's, uh, I've only just been dumped, so <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, sad times, mate. Oh, sad or happy, it just depends which way you look at it, but I do take your point. Hello, Michael. Alright, let's get in the park and be here. That's it. Huddersfield. Eh, uh, 16, I mean. As, as Mark's been very, very busy just trying to help sort uh, stuff out for Emma. That ninja still got one. Has she got a name, though? That's what we want to know. Ah, Michael, well, I, I was that mo washing machine guy. Uh, I've been called very many things, including microwave man, but <laughs> washing machine guy was probably the most favourite one. It took a long time before I didn't see myself as a as a, uh, a service engineer, you know, or a washerman. But uh... Uh, Lewis, I mean, I think the SKRS is worth it. Got to say. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of money. Here. What pe a lot of pe people don't realise is, uh, I think, where they're made in Poland, I think, they have some strange duties they've got to pay over there. Well, obviously, they've then got to pass that on to the customer, which does make them more expensive than what they would normally be. But um, it's, it's the only choice you've got if you want to go down that route. There is cheaper versions. Of course, you know, but if you want to get the real truck shifter feel, then, you know, you can only go the SKRS. Right, see what's in quick jobs. Ah, is that a special? That's a heat exchanger. Ah, no, that's not. That's, um, I don't need that bit. Freight market or external. It was Jack, it was uh, a very, very young, well, it was a very, very good friend of mine and, a friend of mine and Mark's, and it was their, their son. He's just got Xbox for Christmas. And uh, with the Forza, you know, but obviously seeing it like this and being able to play on it as, 
you know he hasn't got all the cars and just the amount of sheer amount of stuff that i've got so he was he was quite amazed you know which you would be really weren't you we, we we used to these this stuff and when you've not seen it before oh some tractors that could be a nice little job all the way to esberge uh oh rex -tex. that's not very far right. yeah good right. yep yeah, all cool suppose, yeah. uh no is them sorted? Mm -hmm. Is she? she I'd get a first try. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm mint. Is she? Yeah, <laughs> but she, she come home from work and um, that's all she was thinking about is getting the uh, getting the Xbox out. Uh, yeah, Emma. I mean. Uh, uh, that's why I was asking Oz Farmer and, and Ben Wilson and that, and and Michael Harty. They're all down that way. I think Oz Oz said about 47. That's a that's a heck of a heat, isn't it? Hiya, Dean H. All right, we'll go and pick up some wood. Gone through a red light there, so he missed that. I was, I was, Jordan. How come it's taken all that time to find out your girlfriend is called Amy? Reese, 43 today in Adelaide. Oh, there you go. I mean, I, I just can't even comprehend that. It's probably people being on holiday in that kind of temperature, but hey, it's getting. It'll be getting Mr. Wilson uh, customised for coming over in the summertime for his holidays. Coming over to England, even if it's our hottest, it won't reach anywhere near like that. So it's going to feel cold for him. Right. Yeah, Miss Dean, absolutely not. Can't, can't crumble, mate. Ah, Emma had a girlfriend called Laura before you met Steve I take it obviously Laura was the girl's name Emma now I've not had a boyfriend yet I've got to say I suppose Mark's my friend like but uh, Lewis I actually don't think I am I've, yeah I don't think I've actually fired it up to be fair got that used to not putting it on so I don't even think I'm logged in I would be on the old PC hello flat space how the devil are you uh, what have I missed hi Aaron uh, your girlfriend's calling you to heat her <laughs> She needs heating up. <laughs> that sounds the right type. Hiya, Dan. Oh, Ninja. Girlfriend called Holly. Nice name, Holly. Yeah, not too bad, flat space. Yeah, can't crumble, mate. Life's, life's going well. I'm, I'm doing the single life now, so... But I'm not really single life because I'm with Mark and Emma, so. Hello, Miss Shelby. Don't uh, think I've spoke to you this year. So, Happy New Year to you. Hope all is well. Uh... <laughs> Andy. <laughs> A girlfriend needs blowing up. I suppose, I mean, if things got ridiculously bad, I could get one, but I still wouldn't be able to do anything with it. Oh, Dean, it was really bad on the ice. It's been quite mild here, but obviously I'm not up on the morning, so I can't tell you what temperature it was, but Emma, Emma never said anything about it, where we are. 
Uh, it just has been, yeah, quite mild for, for this time of year where we live, so. Oh, I'm getting it on point now. Right, I'm a new sub. Oh, Chris, thank you for being a, a new sub, and thank you even more for popping in saying hello. That's that's so important. It's nice people want to sit on the sidelines, but it's nice to for you to pop in and show your face. Ah, someone's been doing skids here. Mark's been in. Uh, Richard, what kind of uh, temps have you got up in Shetland today? out in front of a lorry. Bad boy, Neil. Nah, I've got it. Eh, I don't know, Sean. I, I just try and go on as long as I'm comfortable, to be fair. Try and get a few jobs done. I was on a little bit longer than I, I thought I would be last night, so... Hey, Craig. Uh, and the trucking, uh, we just love the trucking. It's very, very easy to do. It's one of them pleasurable things because you can talk to everyone so well, you know. So I, I personally love it for that. Always did do with the multiplayer. Multiplayer was more difficult because of the amount of trucks around you. So this is a lot easier. I go to. Right, we are only about to... Oh, Dean, are we... Really? Ah, right, Dean. Ah, right, well, I didn't realise you were as close as that now. Obviously, uh, now I'm not up in Scotland, obviously, so... I mean, where, where we were in Scotland uh, was always quite mild, you know, because we're on, the, on the, a good jet stream route. Hiya, Junior, Perez, very, very good. Hello, Morgan. Yeah, it's it's very relaxing to, to do, I've got to say. As, as I say, the... Is that relaxing that, you know, I don't know whether there's a few others would admit to it falling asleep whilst doing it. <laughs> so, yeah, if you feel a little bit tired and, uh, and, and you're not streaming, then it maybe he's watching a bit of telly and you can feel your eyes, your eyes going. It was certainly a good point to uh, turn the thing off and go to bed, so. But it's nice not having my bedroom in the, you know, my bed in the same room as I was gaming in now, so. I like that. I saw ya. Ooh, Emma, 88 is beautiful. Well, that's a really, really nice comment. We think she is also. Steve thinks even more so. I do earn her yet. Moved in with Mark and Emma. Uh, splitting up with my wife. Uh, got dumped after quite a few years, really. So... I uh, will send you my picture. <laughs> okay, Jordan. Absolutely. As long as they're uh, appro in, uh, not inappropriate. Eh, uh, no, Kenny, no. Not, not, not till Mark's got himself sorted and... Um, been a massive help trying to help a lot of other people out behind the scenes. So... Yeah, being very busy. Uh, uh, Craig, it, it is re very, very realistic. I was saying to my friend who was on tea time that if they were using something like this in school as a teaching aid for people who are potentially going to go driving, uh, learning them um, visual skills, you know, things to watch out for, that you're going to need that kind of thing when you're on a when you've got a car. Most people are going to drive when they're old enough to do so. So why not prepare them? to school 
Hi, Fluid. Yeah, very busy in the background. I can certainly tell you, Fluid. He's he's. I mean, it's obviously been uh, been a very very difficult time for him. You know, it's not nice seeing your parents uh, splitting up after so many years as well, and and everything that goes with that. So, not not been an easy time. Ah, there you go, Morgan. Just booked you. The observation that you'd learn, uh, certainly that I learned through all the years of being out on the road, um, is just so used in, in things like this, you know? Jordan, professional photographer. Well, but you didn't know your girlfriend's name. It just seems strange. Ah, hey, Grant. I know, Grant. I know. That's it, my bad can only apologize that means I've the last couple of times I've been on uh, sadly I didn't even think about it Grant um, I was just like last night I wanted to get the trucking on and it did the same tonight so I shall have to slap my slap myself on the wrist and get that sorted uh, yeah, Dean, I mean, I, I just even think from a driving point of view, you know, just to go out in a car. There was a, one of my neighbours uh, where Mark grew up, he, he got one of these flight um, things bought where you can get a flight experience. But he'd already been doing, um, he's already into flight sims. I mean, this is going back a few years, so when flight sims were not as graphical but the instruments and all that were still the same and his instructor couldn't believe because I think he went up in a Cessna couldn't believe that he already knew what all the instruments were, were what they did so it, it doesn't replace how it feels to be on the road but it's got to help Ah, Sean, your parents split when I was a kid. Yeah, I mean, I mean say as a bloke, and I'm not picking on man or woman, I'm not at all, but generally from a bloke's perspective, and you're working full time, you generally not have custody of your children. So I've been very, very lucky to see both my children all the time. And I, and, and I see them now, so, you know, I'm still part of the lives now you know so it's it's very very difficult hey Morgan I don't be nervous at all you know I think it's right to be ap uh, nervous or apprehensive I don't know which is I think I always seem to use my nerves maybe in the right way uh, whereas my wife was very very nervous and uh, it would show she would be very shaky and you know make herself very ill I seem to be able to focus when I'm nervous and maybe it's through my job and that, I don't know. Uh, right, Nissan, you've bought yourself a brand new YZF or 250, so a motorbike, I, 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 I presume. Hiya, Kyle. Ninja, you need to go into your config folder in, in the game where the game file is held and activate Multimon if you don't know what that is just do a YouTube search or a Google search how to activate multiple screens for Eurotruck there is definitely videos out there which will show you ah motocross bike yeah where do you go where do you go with that then, Nissan? Uh, I mean, I definitely wouldn't get into... Uh, that's why I say I'm always very careful when you mention something which seems to be picking on one uh, man or woman. Um, uh, that's why I was saying, just in my experience from people I've spoke to, it seems to be that way. Oh, Dean, can't agree with you more. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, well, sadly, I got the sack from my very first job for, um, 
yeah, sadly being naughty, but uh, <laughs> I, I passed my driving test while I was out of work. So the money I was getting, I was paying my mum to live it, obviously paying your board, whatever you paid, and uh, got my driving lessons as well. So left me with nothing every week, but it, it was worth it in the end. Ooh, yeah, mate. First listen, a Cavalier 4x4 turbo. Wow, that's something to go driving in. Mine was um, a Daihatsu Sherrard. Uh, there were three cylinders then. And not many people had heard of a, a three cylinder car. I, I certainly didn't, but uh, that's what I learned it. And it was a lady who, who taught me very, very well. And then her son took over. And uh, we used to have a really, really. I always got my lesson on a night time. Uh, through the winter time, I got mine. So I do think it benefited because you couldn't look down at your feet because you couldn't say anything anyway. So uh, I do think it really, really helped me. I wasn't frightened of going out in the dark then. So I do think it, it prepared me well. Yeah, them 4 by 4s I was just going to say, yeah, they were some kind of car, them, Emma. Hey, Michelle, be really, really good, loving the truck, and it's, um, it's so easy to get to chat to everyone. Uh, I was in the process of firing up an um, American truck, but um, there's a little bit of problem with it, so I didn't bother. Oh, Steve was your instructor. What? I mean, are you saying professional instructor, Emma? Or were you, were you uh, boyfriend and girlfriend then? Thanks, Faith. I appreciate that. Uh, hiya, no. <laughs> it seems a, it seems a strange name that. I always wonder where you, where that comes from. Right, Chris gave up on the crosses and, 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 ah, and did your big bike test. Yeah. I mean, the, the thing is, is where to ride them. I know back in the day, people just rode them wherever they wanted to. You know, there was some old slag heaps and pit heaps and things like that, you know, where people would go riding around where we lived. Uh, but a lot of them have been you know, redeveloped now. So, and the police have crosser bikes, don't they, to, to stop people doing it. Much sure. Oh, DIY simulator. Uh, I think, I mean, a, a simulator that you put together would still probably be classed as a DIY, but um, I made my first simulator, or what would be classed as a rig anyway, let's class it a rig, somewhere to put your wheel and pedals on. Definitely. I was doing my best to make, after I'd done mine, trying to do one for Mark as a, as a surprise, but uh, I just wasn't of good health and I didn't get it all completely finished. Uh, I got enough to give him a surprise, uh, but he helped me finish it off, so that was nice. But nice seeing someone's face when they don't know you're doing it, which is... I've always loved surprises, always loved surprising people. You just... If you ever get a chance in your life to do something, to surprise somebody, do it. Um, it really, really is good. It's the best feeling you can get. We managed to do a little surprise for Emma today coming in from work, so... Um, Mark had organised to get a, a new, newish, a newer sofa for the uh, for her, her little sitting room which we've been on doing. So she came in from work not knowing we were just sitting on it. <laughs> so it kind of took her back, which was fantastic. It was so worth it. Uh, Faith, I have nothing against football. Uh, I used to play a lot when I was a kid. Played for my school team. Uh, played a lot with my brothers, you know. Learned the what the school of hard knocks, I would say, because you know, when you're playing with older people, um, you just gotta fight for the for the ball, or you know. I was a fast runner, so the positions I always got stuck on were on the on the wing, uh, right wing, because I was right-footed. 
so I'm very lucky that way. But I don't follow a, a football team. Used to be interested in Liverpool because they were the team that were doing very, very well when I was a kid. Uh, and that was all. I'd, so. Yeah, that's I say, I just don't have. I, I have. I, I mean, personally, I, I have a lot of respect for people who follow sort of like non league teams. Uh, like locally, it would be Darlington or Hartlepool and things like that, where they've got to travel an awful long way and there's only maybe a, a couple of thousand in a stadium. Um. Because that seems to be sort of more, I don't know, if if, if, if your local team, it happened to be Liverpool, Leeds, what, whatever the big teams are, I can understand it, but... Uh, no, Jamie, um, this actual rig I'm sitting in now belongs to Sean Jones. He's bought and paid for it, so as soon as my rig... Uh, as soon as I get my stuff picked up and, and brought down... Um, he can come and take it away, so he's really looking forward to that. But he's been nice enough to uh, to let me use it for the time being. Uh, Faith, you're from Sunderland. Uh, ah, right, Jack and Manchester United fan. Where, where do you live in Manchester? Because obviously you've got Manchester United, Manchester City, but there must be other smaller teams as well. Absolutely, Emma. I couldn't agree with you more. That, that's certainly my feeling. You've, you've summed it up. I mean, I don't know how you would improve it. It's. I always think if I'm going to criticise something, I always try and think if someone asked me to improve it, what I would do. I don't know what the... Would you cap the amount of money that can be spent? Or... They've only got to be players from the local area. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, but uh, from the ground. So, ah, right, Jack. Uh, you're from Selby. Right, Manchester's uh, Manchester's a long way from Selby, surely. It's got to be more than 15 miles from from Selby to Selby Doncaster where are you ginger uh, right Steve what you're asking me if I, why, do, why I don't get a, a class 1 license uh, I don't really understand yet Ah, Miss Selby, Miss Shelby, moving to the UK. Uh, you're from the. I am from County Durham, Faith. Yeah, certainly am. Well spotted. Ah, you don't live in Selby. I've got you. No, you know what I mean, though. There's a lot of people throughout the world, uh, like I say, like a team, but have lived nowhere near the, where that team comes from. And of course, some of the players playing for that team are not even from the area or even the country. So it always just seems strange to me that, but that's how it is. So I don't query it, you know. Hi, Abu. Matt is currently through helping Emma with the Xbox. Ah, uh, Sean likes the you so you like the American football, yeah. I was actually watching a bit of baseball, can't think where I was watching it on. I think it just came up on the on the top telly when I was doing something, you know, but I like the way the Americans the stadiums, the family sort of scene, you know. Just seem a, a lot calmer. Ah, Steve. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. No, I've got me, got me uh, cork and how was Emma? Sorted. Good, yeah. Ah, that's good. Yep. Ah, she's checking, checking the GoPro for battery. Cool. Didn't 
couldn't have that sorted yesterday, so that was that's easy done. Yes, yeah, I mean, I, I did 30 years as a service engineer out on the out on the roads all the time. I got medically finished from work, so I've got a really bad spinal injury. So I'm restricted a lot with things like that. So I've been in a position where I could help Mark, and uh, and that's what I'm doing. Uh, no, I'm not a driving instructor. No. I, always, I mean, it was quite handy when my, um, oh no, it's, 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 I don't mind, it's, because, because we sit here, uh, it's a question that people are going to, going to say, the bouncing up and down on a seat, on the seat, and the seat being, like, I couldn't, I couldn't sit in a motion rig, um, because of the, the jerkiness in the, in the chair, you know, just, I wouldn't be able to stand that at all, so being comfortable is, is paramount, if I'm not comfortable, I, I just, I can't stay in one place too long, you know. But it's a fair question. Uh, right, Lewis bought triple monitor for... Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Some people ask about uh, what cards will support, what, how many monitors, you know. It's, it's a suck it and see thing, really. I don't know what card you've got. I've known people with a 1050 Ti who've been able to run it, but you, you don't know whether it's the graphics card or the processor or RAM or whatever's restricting it. Open your task manager and you will be able to see what's under load. Yeah, if your processor was running, say, 100%, and your graphics card was only running 60%, then you know your processor isn't getting the information out fast enough. But likewise, the other way around, if if your graphics card's running at 100% and your processor's running at 50%, well, then you know everything's going to be quite fine. You could probably put another graphics card in. So. Uh, no, Ryan, no, no Grand Theft Auto tonight. I mean, Mark's been popping in the Discord group, I think, just seeing if there's anything needs to, and I'm not pretty sure Sarah is, as always, beavering away in the background. Um, I don't think so, Brooklyn. Um, we, as far as I know, it goes up and down. There's no fixed amount on it at all. I know... I've watched Jimmy Broadbent doing live stream when he's got, you know, over over 2,000, you know, so I don't think it's fixed at all. Not heard that before. Right. Just trying if he's answered what, what card it is. But that's an easy way to check anyway through your task manager. Oh, uh, Stefan, absolutely brilliant. I mean, not only being able to game with Mark, but um, through, through Mark's condition, never assumed he would have any kind of, uh, it's not a job, but something to do. Um, if you're always fighting to just falling down, then it restricts you where you're going to go and what you're going to do. You know, so you kind of end up being in the house a lot, a bit like myself, you know, you, you're in a lot because you're comfortable. You either lay it down or you sat with your feet up or something like that, you know. And you end up with a lot of time on your hands and filling that time can be quite quite difficult, so I've been very, very lucky. Alright, uh Hi Scott. What load I've got? I've got uh, planks of wood on today. That's an old graphics card, yeah. Yeah, I would say, I would say open, your, open your task manager, you'll probably find that uh, it's running flat out. And your processor's probably not 
doing much at all. Yeah, I'm, I am very, very lucky uh, to be able to help out. I mean, initially, once Mark got started with his channel, I just, um, I was able to step back and thought, well, that's Mark sorted. I don't know what I'm going to do now. So, I have no idea I would be able to help. So, ah, right, Miss Shelby. Uh, do you want to, do you want to give out your boyfriend's name so I can say hello? Um, uh, I'm not sure, Sean. I mean, like, Mark's yet to have the, uh, what we call baby. I don't know if you can see him in the back. Oh, no, you can't see him in the background. But, uh, yeah, he hasn't had the big... Um, I don't think he's played anything on that yet. He's just been too occupied doing other things, getting Emma sorted. And, and myself. Uh, the graphics card in this... Is a, I've got the 1080 Ti in this that was in Mark's big red rig. Uh, the computer that we've got together for Mark has got a, um, a 2080 Super in it, and that's a that's a water cooled one. So looking forward to seeing how how well that performs. But as I say, just just headspace hasn't. He just, you know, he's just been that busy getting other stuff done. Ah, Michelle, I know, I know him, do I? Ah, right. You probably have told me before, then. Ah, Ernie, you've got the RTX 2080, yeah. So as I say, we managed to get a um, a hybrid one for for Mark, you know, the super. So really, really hoping that. Uh, his, Mark checked into the frame rates, and there wasn't an awful lot between that and, this, and the um, the TI for that much more money, you know, because they are of a massive price. I've got to say. Yeah, that's what we're talking about, Farmer Wally. Um, have yet to it it it's on in the background. I think he's just been on just to sort of have it have it on, and it just looks so nice. <laughs> uh, Sean was staring at it today and you can't help it it, it just looks impressive even though the case you could say it's completely overkill of course you could everything's overkill but uh, yeah Mark's absolutely over the moon with it and for being able to help myself out and that you know I really really wanted him to have something that he could uh, always been proud of his stuff obviously but um yeah, I just wanted him to have something something special, really. And it was a bit of a giggle when I mentioned it in the shop, but thinking about it, it was the way to go. He was only going to go down the water cooling route. Hey, Kyle. Uh, that's good, Kyle, yeah. Do our best. Right, Emma's, oh, Emma's doing a... So, so you're streaming as well, Emma, aren't you? GTX 7, 970. Well, Max got a 970 as well, so... As you know. But again, that was sentimental to Mark because, uh, because Emma bought him a bit like the um, the shifter. And it's nice having something like that where... Sentimental. He, he always wanted to hang on to the computer that uh, me and his mum got for him just to try and get him... I wasn't. Too, we weren't trying to get him gone. Uh, we were. I was worried that the PC he had would stop working and let him down. And uh, when he was so so poorly at the time, he only had his gaming. So to be without a, a, a PC, I, I just I, I was a bit worried, you know. But unfortunately, with PCs, you know the the, the stuff it does, it just got a shelf life really. Right, uh, did he, he, he has got a new case, um, I'm not sure whether you can actually see it in the background, uh, yeah, over my left shoulder, there's a case sitting, which you can see lit up, it looks like a fish tank, it's the size of a mini fridge, o honestly, I kid you not. But, as I say, when we were in the shop, it was just, a, a, they happened to have one. Which seemed to be quite strange. It was it was damaged, so there was a little bit of money off it. 
Uh, it's the only one they had. And they also had all of the water cooling stuff that they needed. I mean, all of it. It wasn't like they were, they were short of anything. It was... So, it just seemed to be a good vibe. Like, you know, I'm always one of these things are meant to be. Don't force something if it's not meant to happen. <laughs> In Dakota, yeah, I know. Can you imagine, right, what kind of pay skill? There's one thing for sure. Well, wouldn't have been buying a... Uh, uh, a a three-piece suite for Emma out of the uh, the local paper, you know, <laughs> off the Facebook ads. <laughs> no, we wouldn't have been doing that. Uh, I can tell you that now. But nice thought, though. Hey, box, how's it going? I know, Junior. I wish I could speak English. You know, it just I, we keep trying. Me and Mark do our very, very best. One day we'll get the hang of it. Hi, hot shot. Who's VTC you in? Nick? Nick's VTC. I, I haven't got a clue what VTCs are about now. We, we were interested when we were doing the multiplayer, but as soon as that got stopped kind of lost my uh, my love for the truck and then strangely but been enjoying it lately so it is very relaxing right so Lewis has got a, a Radian HD 7800 series see you later Ernie hiya mister does that many I mean, Mark's up on this stuff more than I am because he, he, he does more uh, research into it, so. Yeah, catch you later, Ernie. You take care. Uh, oh, right, Michelle B. Ah, right. A Dave skin for me truck, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll still got that on my hard drive, actually. It'll still be there. Eh, uh, dropped. I mean, uh, a big scan you think yeah one of them I, I actually thought I had my load <laughs> I forgot I'm just on my way to get it yeah Dan um, I, I was thinking about uh, the 1050 Ti when someone told me they were running triples on it and I've seen 1050 Ti's for sale for around about £100 so But, you know, I mean, there's there's, there's different uh, games that will uh, use that card differently. So, what you can get away with one, you might not be able to get away with it. Oh, Fred's nice one. RTX 2070, I, I have been told they're, they're a really, really good card as well. So, an another good choice. Absolutely, Dean H. You take it easy. I will see you tomorrow. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. We'll just play it by ear at the moment. I mean, I'll have to have some time away just to go up and get the rest of my uh, things. So that'll be another another big trip up to Scotland and back, you know. But then it's done, so um, it's got to be done, so. Yeah, it's one of them where uh, you, if, if there was a way to just magically uh, get it, you would. Oh, the road effects going down in these quarries are awesome. Hey, Smith. Uh, he's currently... He, he might actually be playing a game with Emma on the Xbox. Uh, she would normally have been in bed by now, Emma. But she's been that excited to play the Xbox and sit on her new three-piece couch. So... She doesn't get much, Emma. She's very, very easily pleased, and uh, yeah, just want to like. It's just, just really nice to do something for for her. So, drop of a hat. She came came through and helped myself out, you know. So, it's always appreciated. Just want to like very, very good eggs, you know. And she puts up a mark, obviously. Uh, 
All right, let's see if I can get this straight on the coupler. Come on, that's got to be spot on that. Yeah, it certainly was. I'll make a driver yet. Uh, Lewis, yeah, I mean, there's probably a lot of cards. I mean, I got a, a, a 980. Uh, well, I had two of them in, in my first PC. And I think, um, I think we're around about £400 new when I bought the second one, you know. But if you have a look what you can buy a 980 for now, um, they just lose so much money. Sell at the right time and, uh, you know, put that money towards upgrading it, but you've always got to keep moving forward. So, last as long as they can and then you're going to have to change it sometime just to keep up with the graphical performance of the games as they just keep getting better and better gradually each year you know uh, hiya Nicholas uh, it's a Scania this one hiya Benbo hiya Callum Yeah, Callum, it's, it is it is Neil. Just Neil Armstrong and you'll see it. I kind of use my Facebook just so people can get hold of me and it takes a bit of pressure off Mark getting inundated with stuff, you know. I'm trying my best to keep up to date with everybody that way. Ooh, Miss Shelby. Now, well, I'll tell you what, as I say, if you've got uh, a boyfriend who does skinning, that's good. Put him to good use. And I've never done a truck skin. Uh, I've done quite a few for the i racing cars, you know, racing cars and that. But oh, I drive a Renault. Yeah, I'm a I'm a big Renault supporter. Oh, an I Veco. <laughs> Uh, scan you. I mean, the, all the all the mods just go in the mod folder, and then you activate them when you through your profile, through the mod manager. So very very easy to do. Yeah, uh, right. You know, I mean, being asked a lot about Grand Theft Auto, so I, I mean, there's been probably too much going on in our personal life to sort of. Do justice to 5M, you know. Well, I think you just have to have that right mindset uh, of mucking about and things like that, you know. So we'll we'll get back to it. Don't worry. Uh, Nick, what the truck? I will have to slow down so I can show you it. That's the no special skin on, but uh, that's a transport skin. That one, isn't it? Nice big metal pipes on the back. Right, turn my lights off though. Are you there? I know, I know, I, I've, I've been very, very lucky. A lot of people asking to make skins for me and that. See, when, when we were playing a lot of multiplayer, we only used one skin, which in, in a way for me was spoiled it a little bit because there's a lot of nice skins out there and it's nice to be a little bit different uh, but when we used the same haulage company skin um, you know there was no point having a lot of skins because we only we only used one yeah, straight edge funny enough I was trying to launch ATS but as it hadn't been launched on this machine before and there was some conflict with mods in it so it just kept crashing so it was going to take me too long to sort it out and you just want something that's going to be stable um, you don't want to see the stream cutting out and all that kind of carry on so I'll have to do that make sure it's working uh, off, off stream you know 
So I nearly put all the extra DLC in it as well. That's what I had in the steam basket ready to go, but I'll, I'll sort it out. I mean, the, tr the trucks and, and the uh, and the single player part of it is really, really good. It's just another it's another place to drive around, you know, so I've nothing against it at all. The multiplayer side was dead. So it just didn't look... We had more fun going to the racetrack in uh, Tucson. That was... Uh, <laughs> we got more people involved in that, I think. I think one night we had, I don't know how many people were on the racetrack, but there must have been 20, 25 trucks. Eh, uh, fluid, I mean, I'll leave all that kind of thing up to Mark. Uh, anything that's going on in the room, anything that might go out to, or might be shown to, sponsors, things like that. Uh, yeah, totally leave that down to, down to Mark. So if Mark does a setup to it and shows you, everything uh, I totally leave that up to Mark it's better that way because then you know at least one person we might chat about things but uh, I want Mark to be the one who's making the, the decisions on that I haven't uh, studio uh, we've got bus simulator 18 the people on it I don't know whether they've changed it but the people on it were, were ridiculous it just looked so well nothing like simulator at all really so i'm just yeah it was just one of them i mean they have put triple screen support and that in but we've never been back in to play it equally we haven't done any more truck racing it wasn't that many people playing uh, but you've got to start playing something and play it regular to get people interested so that could have been down to that as well. What is the console command? Uh, Callum, I mean, I don't. You've got to activate it first, but it is the key next to the number one key on your keyboard, above the tab key. It has got a specific name. Yeah, between tab key and escape, and on the left of the number one key. But you've got to have it activated first, otherwise that will not work. Hi, Mark. Place farm sim. I, I mean, I, I love being on the farm with Marky, so uh, we will get that done. And of course, um, if we can get both GoPros working, um, I could do the same view that I'm using now on on Twitch. So it gives you a little bit more perspective to watch. Tilda key. That's it, Michael. Thank you for that, Tilda couldn't for the life of me thinking I'll have to think of the Hilda Ogden and now I might be able to remember it unintentional Max he's not gone anywhere yeah uh, he's doing something that I, I can't help Emma with so I am able to sit here and keep everyone up to date and at least do something so people know that we haven't vanished <laughs> Other, other than that, it, he would have just had to take the time off and there would be nothing on at all, so. But he is very, very conscious of it, so. Uh. Yeah, straight edge, as I say, I've got absolutely nothing against uh, American Truck. I love some of the American Truck mods. On single player, it's not really that much different than Euro Truck when you think about it, uh, just in a different uh, countryside. Uh, but multiplayer it was dead. I don't know if it's changed any. There's quite a bit more um, DLC out for it now. I did have the uh, Coast to Coast map. I don't know if it was Grant that put me onto that. But that was really, really good. I enjoyed that. Uh, Jaden, I don't at this moment. I mean, as soon as Max, you know, we've got things sorted out in the house, then we can get back to some kind of normality. Yeah, straight edge, not a problem. Ah, Grant, it was yourself. <laughs> Ma I always worry that I don't uh, credit the people who've helped me like that. But 
Grant is great for mods like that. And you know, if they recommend something to you, you can quite happily go and do that and it'll be fine. Hiya, Rockstar, how's it going? Hey, Callum, I did. I did, that was awesome, yeah. Uh, was it yourself that sh uh, shared that? Hiya, Lima. Sorry, I, I can't. I know you're saying something about Brazil, but uh, hello, everyone in Brazil. Thinking about Brazil, I like Brazil nuts. That's something I used to always have at the Christmas time, nuts. Ooh, Rockstar, not good. Ah. Ah, Callum, ah, right. Oh, I can't remember, Callum, there was a, a, a truck, I can't remember. Was it, um, we're drifting in the snow, and it was, I can't even describe it to you, it was like kind of unreal, you think it would be a setup, uh, but, and I, was it with a double trailer, Callum? Right, does anyone who is truck book want to do convoy tomorrow? There you go, Lewis. Uh, don't forget, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be in truck book. You could be in truck book and uh, convoy with someone who's not in it. I think that's the whole point, really. I mean, the convoys we were doing were getting very, very large. Especially when we were meeting up with other people. Yeah, and it was they were very very difficult to sort of navigate. I've got to say, Gamapotamus is having a suck. Okay, mate. You enjoy yourself. Oh, I did, Callum. I've got to say, it was uh, it was one of them where you sort of have a second look and yeah. See you later, Andy. You take care. Hi Freddy, you're doing good mate, you're going to go into the new year positive, so certainly the the last um, the last part of 2019, well there's <laughs> quite a lot of 2019 wasn't very good you know, so hiya Jay, how's it going? Uh, ah right Lewis got ya, I uh, understand that now, well said. I, I thought, you know, you maybe just um, team up with people through Discord and team speak, etc, etc. Yeah, Freddy, uh, what, what, you know, what else can you do? It's pointless just uh, falling on the floor and, uh, you know, and not doing anything. It's, it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't help anything. You've got to accept what things are and uh, and move on from there. I can I can do that. Right, uh, Jaden need something to look forward to. Oh, three hundred bills tomorrow. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, we could we could get some racing done tomorrow. Definitely. I quite fancy doing the um, the race and even with this uh, this camera on. So we'll certainly see what Mark's got planned for tomorrow as well. He might be, he wants to do some farming, I, I don't know, um, hopefully get this this beast of a rig in the background fired up, and uh, he can get some of that tried out, that would be good, good to see him playing on that, but he's doing right, he's, he's, you know, he doesn't want to get stuck into something and then get dragged away from it, he just wants to get everyone else sorted, so, it's quite a selfless thing to do when you think about it, you know, he, could have just left everyone else to get on with it, but he, he hasn't done that, so. Yeah, Lewis Mark has, there is a merchandise link, I, I, again I don't know whether that's a link that's broken, uh, but yeah, there is merchandise that you can go, yeah, hoodies, t-shirts, thing that kind of thing. I know, Jaden, it, it is one of them things, isn't it? And uh, that's the thing when you have I racing and you don't get any time. Um, it does feel a little bit like a waste. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to do that over Project Cars, you know, because I was paying for it, but not using it. And the time I was racing my Mark, 
and we could have been doing it on on um, on i racing so Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I haven't, I didn't know that, uh, Jaden, but, um, I, I mean, I'll let you tell me if you know why they've taken it down, rather than me say anything. Okay, Lewis, you take it easy. Uh, Miss Shelby, have you been drifting? Are you saying you would like to go drifting? I'll tell you what, I mean... Seeing Mark go drifting for for real, I didn't realise it would affect us as much as it did. Um, I, you know, it just when something catches you quite by surprise, uh, it was amazing. Really, really was. I mean, I knew I'd be happy for him and seeing him, but uh, yeah, I don't think it prepared me for actually seeing him. <laughs> I don't know what I would have been like if I was there in real life. God. Hi Alexis, hola. Hi Prime Four. Uh, ah, so you ah right. So I'm thinking about the other McLaren one that was already on sale. So is there is there a different one that's for sale, a pre-order one you're talking about? I've not seen that. Eh, uh, Nissan. I, now there's a thing. How many years ago is that going back? Two years when Mark went drifting. Crikey, mate! No, oh, it's over a year ago in the summer, wasn't it? Go back to the summer time and go back a year from that. Uh, I wish I could give you a link for it, but it was good. Someone put some uh, some stuff up to see him in a car. And, and they did good to take him on because obviously the new fine well he had seizures. Uh, there's no way he could have a, a, a actual driving license. Obviously he could drive. That wasn't a problem. Uh, but just they were willing to to do that. You know it was absolutely fantastic because there was nothing to say. And I, find, I don't even know if he had any seizures while he was there. And just something I don't ask him. So. Uh, Lewis, I'm no, I'm not a good drifter. No, I can do like Forza drifting, like Hoonigan drifting, that kind of thing with four-wheel drive cars. But a two-wheel drive car to drift properly, it looks really, really good, and it looks very, very easy until you try and do it. I don't know what it's like doing it with a controller, but I'm talking about in the car. So I watch Mark on. Um, a set of cars, so you know, when he's drifting with other people who are equally as good or, or better, uh, really, really does look good. But yeah, I think you need that passion to keep practicing at it. Definitely. I think that one's open, isn't it? Yeah, I keep getting the uh, a rear wheel drive car out, and then I realize I'm not very good at it, so. You just got to really practice at it, you know, so I'm pretty sure if I just Hey, you shot nice to see you pop up in the uh, <laughs> in this thing Yeah, I, I just sometimes think yeah if I just uh, just sat and it only took out that uh, I get more and more idea just controlling the car Even though they were four-wheel drive car. I've got better at it. I couldn't do it at all. So I can do something um, which is better than nothing. Right, what did Miss Shelby do? I'd love to go. Ah, right, you'd love to do the uh, the drag racing. I mean, I've been following um, a couple of American YouTube channels there: Cletus McFarland and uh, Boosted Boys and PFI Speed and Faster Proms as well. They're in the same garage as Cletus McFarland, but uh, yeah, I've, I've learnt a, a lot more about drag racing. I mean, I know it, it's, it is going from point A to point B as fast as possible, but there's a lot more in the engineering that I found interesting. It's not just a case of putting the biggest engine in and going as 
there's always the weakest link is going to break or as we talk about in computers if you've got um, a bottleneck somewhere then you've got to uh, upgrade the bottleneck so it's quite an interesting thing that way I, I've, I've enjoyed learning about it but not really thought not actually ever thought about doing it uh, rallying was always going to be the thing but since my back injury it's just something you put out your mind you just you can't do it so um th th this this is this is me sort of self now you know this is my motorsport and uh, and that i did always want to uh, be a digger driver you know excavator and kind, that kind of thing but one of the guys that was around at the time was an ex actual ex excavator driver and sent me some quite good video of how brutal it was really on the on the body on the person driving it wasn't just sitting there very calmly it was quite a um uh what's the right word yeah it was quite tough on the body he said so i thought i can't do that either so yeah the mclaren wheel yeah i know because i've got one as well uh jaden uh so I don't know personally why they've taken it off, but it wasn't, it's not on pre-order now, as I say, you could physically order it, unless they were out of stock. But I will keep an, an ear open. Uh, right, Neil, do you messages come through? Just wondering. Uh, yes, sorry, Neil, sorry. Um, I might have been chatting about something else when you've actually messaged and I haven't actually seen your message when I've quickly looked up. Oh, look, the plane's going over. Uh, salute. Uh, so I do apologise about anyone who sends a message and I haven't been quick enough to catch it. If the chat sometimes moves quite quickly or something like that, it's, it's easy when you look back up to miss it. Hiya, Matthew. Hiya, Aves, as well. Hiya, Morgan. Good to know you're still there. I right, playing on PS4. What are you playing, though? Right, right. Uh, that's the thing. Sometimes when you're staring, watching your chat, and you can quite often miss the road as well. So, uh, what were you asking, Neil? As well, I'll, I'll pay attention if you're actually going to ask me a question that I've missed. Oh, almost 200 likes. All right. well, really? Wow, take that. Right, I wanted a, I'm going to need a service station, but I don't want a rest area, so... Uh, I can't imagine... No, I, no, no, nearly, it's, I, I hate it, I hate, I hate missing people. One of the reasons when, I'm race, when the racing's on, it took us a long time to sort of get that, but I couldn't read it. So, you, you, you do feel very rude. Ah, Miss Shelby. Xbox drifting. Right, okay, Michelle. Be what would what would be your drift car? What would be your go-to car? Thanks, Kim. Appreciate that. All all, all the way over in the Netherlands. I haven't said that. I haven't seen Rob Hound Dog in tonight. So, hiya, Harry. Yeah, not doing too bad. Going going into 2020 positive. Uh, good to see Mark and Emma smiling away. Emma very, very happy the way her other little sitting rooms coming together. So very, very happy. Been very pleased to be able to help out. Now uh, they've helped me out massively. Uh, wondering. Right. Okay, Neil. Uh, right. You've just got a Nem PG. Uh, trying to work out what you're asking there, buddy. I'll just pull over where I can concentrate and get some fuel. Alright, what was Neil asking? Right, I've just got on 
N E M P G. Oh, you mean uh, Ma is it Magen? Multi um, role play is that what you're on about? Ah, you'd like to meet up in the uh, in the city. Uh, we've not been on. I mean, I've certainly not been. Well, I've had stuff going on in in the background, pri in private life as well, you know. So, just not hasn't been one of them things that I'd, you'd, you'd wanted to to do, you know. Well, we'll we'll get back to it. Definitely, and it is nice to uh, bump into people in the city as well, I've got to say. Right, Ian, you do need to be whitelisted, Ryan. Definitely need to be over 18 as well. Uh, er... Yeah, I definitely intend to. I mean, both Mark and I are going to have P PCs to take us forward, which is what we've been concentrating on doing. Uh, got mine, you know, I've got a really, really good PC now to stream. Hello, Big John. Big John's come to say hello to everyone, haven't you, Big John? Hey, you big son. Hello, sausage. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does. Really, really good. It looks well. Big John. John was in there. Yeah, really good. <laughs> yeah, really, really good. Hello, big son. He's on this side now. It's Big John. Don't go. Don't knock me pop over though. Good boy. Can't, can't show everyone where Big John is. Yes, look. See him in that. Every, every, no one can go unless they've seen Big John. There he is. Look. There's Big John. <laughs> He's making up for me not seeing my puppy dog now, aren't you? You got a lot to make up for, Big John, or compo, as we call him, because he got he like he's he's fallen in love with the compost heap. He's, he's great. He really, really is. He's, he's doing so well. How was uh, how was them getting on? Oh, right. I know. Oh, oh she got she got some play, did she? Oh, brilliant. Oh, did she? Which is three? Oh, that's. Did she? Drop it, clip it down. Yeah, and that was oh, going to sort the F out now. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, so we'll just get some more, yeah. Let's see, what do you want now? Oh. You feel good, aren't you, John? Good boy. He's a good boy. That's good. Yeah. Ah, cool. Ah, really? Brilliant. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll 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 get everything we need. Right. Cool. I'll let you check the GoPro battery on you. Oh, do you want to check it now? Ah, Ben, just playing, played five hours of Project Cars. Yeah, yeah I can imagine, Ben, yeah. You, you, it, you can't underestimate force feedback. And even like when Mark's drifting. I don't know what it's like, you know, in, in, in a real car. But, you know what, sir? Yeah, I can imagine, yeah. Change up my battery and brilliant. Cheers, Mary. Thank you. All right, mate. All right, that's me all set. All right, uh, using a Logitech G920. Excellent. All right, just make sure I've got. Yeah, I've got. Hiya Shad, I did see it come up in uh, Steam, I couldn't read it quickly so I will I will catch up with that after. Oh, Nissan, 
Ah, uh, sorting a gearbox. Oh, in the real car. Oh, no. Hello, Jay. Ah, thank you, Jay. Yeah, I mean, Mark came up with the idea. I once uh, was trying to do something similar up the road uh, on a um, on the normal web camera that we use, you know, just to try and capture that view, but the GoPro does it so well. Uh, right, I mean, as, as soon as we've got our sort of heads back into the game, really, uh, certainly Mark more than, well, I, I myself, but, you know, Mark's on it a lot more than I am. And we are going to be able to do, you know, even if people don't want to watch, we are conscious as people don't want to watch 5M, which is absolutely fine, but I will be able to do something else on Twitch or vice versa. So we will have a lot more opportunity ahead. Ah, right, is it? Okay. Is it something I need to read now, Shad? Or just let me know if it's something I need to do now. Oh, Ninja, you've been playing for seven hours. That's 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 good. Uh, Danny, a lot, lot of stuff going on uh, since, well, the end of, really started, um, start of November, really. So, uh, just, just personal stuff between me and Mark's mum. Uh, obviously, which does ev eventually involve your family. So, but we can go forward now into 2020, knowing what the situation is, so. Ah, right, okay. I'm just going to pull in, uh, I'm, oh, I'm nearly at me drop anyway, Shad, so I will, I will have a look. So that's why, I mean, not through, you know, he'd, he'd much rather have been on than what has been going on. <laughs> so, if that makes any sense. But, you know, it. You've got to when you when you sit down. You've got to be on for a certain amount of time, and it's getting that time where you can. I suppose it's a bit greedy, really, because while you're doing this, you can't do something else. That young pup to sort out as well, and especially with myself coming, which in the long run is going to be going to be brilliant. But uh, it's just getting it to that point, you know. Right, do I need to go in this way? I think I do. Hello, Nex. How's it going? Absolutely, Ninja, yeah. It, it is one of them things that really, really does change your whole gameplay, doesn't it? And I think it starts making you want to get more reality, if that makes a sense. Because you can sit with a controller and sit on the, like Mark was last night, we are sitting on the settee and playing on the big screen, just playing Battlefield. But when you start driving and that, it gets to a point where you want to sort of try and get yourself so you feel like you're in the car, uh, not following the car from behind like you start off doing. I think that's the... You know the, the the point of having the simulation, you know. Hiya, Julian. Your dad uh, have a a Ferrari. Oh, I can imagine if he's got a Ferrari. It would be very very nice. It'll not be uh, cheap to keep on the road. I I would doubt. So. All right, let's have a look. Just seeing what Chad sent me. Uh... Right. Uh... Okay, Chad. Uh... I will. I will show Mark that, and um... we will. We will see. Yeah, good. Thanks for that, Chad. I will pass that on to, to Marky. Just fill in whoever sent me a friend request. Right, let's crack on. 
Uh, but no, that's good. Good shot. I mean, the other thing is uh, also putting it up onto the Facebook group as well, Shad, you know. That can be a, another way. But um, I'll ask Marky first, just in case he knows, uh, knows anybody. All right, I don't want to go that far. I just want to pick one that will take me to the... Uh, that's such a nice run, that door, isn't it? Going to Laverno, all the all the south of France. Wow. <sighs> Tempted. I've got the truck for it though, haven't I? Let's do it. Right, uh, hi Lewis, sorry Neil, I have to go. No, it's not a problem. Do not have to apologise for that. It's nice that you've been in. Hi Charlie. Yeah, I am. I am Neil. Uh, I mean, my steam, my steam list's full. But what I, what I try to do is only delete people to make room for uh, others that we actually do play games with. You know, like project cars and things like that. You know, it does massively help if you can. Well, it's the only way you can actually <laughs> play. So, but yeah, send it through. Alright, let's see if I can go for another good connection. Oh! Can't be far off that. Must be millimetres. Uh, the Facebook link's expired. If you go into Facebook and just type Mark Armstrong Gaming Community. Oh, that that's got to be. I'm 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 getting the uh, that pretty close. That that's him. Oh, that looked good. That huh? <laughs> Never really watched one connect like that before. Hi, I'm Andy. It's great seeing you today, and uh, can't thank him. Um, Sean enough for bringing the the other part around and again massive thank you to you both for letting me continue to to use this rig while I'm waiting to go and get my other one much appreciated Emma managed to get uh, some time playing today so that was good it's just about an hour before she went to bed but um, again updates so but the more, once once she's done it regular, that will uh, that will disappear. That. Uh, right, Elliot. What's Patrick asking? Oh, Patrick, I've missed what you've asked. Actually, I must admit. Hi, Patrick. You're not an online gamer. I, I did miss what you're asking, but. Uh, they would only give you some good advice anyway. I mean, there's nothing wrong with not being an online game. I, I just, I don't even know how much... A lot Euro Truck is a single player game. Uh, the only, the multiplayer isn't an official uh, part of it. Yeah, Mandy, all happy. Yeah, he's... Uh, that's good. Good to see your lad happy. You know, he works... Both work very, very hard. So. Right, Patrick, I'm going to chat. That's good. Yeah, yeah. It was just while I was uh, looking at Chad's post on that. Ah, truck driver, right. Is it £60, is it? Yeah, it does seem a lot of money. Yeah, farm sim on uh, on single player. Yeah, I, I don't know what you mean. I like I like when I'm being on playing with Mark. I don't fall asleep, but on single player, I, ca I can actually just go to sleep. <laughs> it's that kind of relaxing thing. 
Yeah, I, I, I can't, got it, got to say, I mean, where, oh, no, no, what did you do there, Neil? I wasn't watching. Bit of a detour. That's quite a bit of a detour, that. Right, I need to get on the other side of the road, so... Right, Sean, Neil, would you do Grid 2 stream? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know the, the one I was playing tonight, Sean? The one you had to listen to? I mean, I was chatting to Mark about it to see, you know, once he gets his stuff up and running. Uh, there's no reason why we can't do it. We've not tried the multiplayer side, but uh, it certainly sounds good. Yeah, I was trying, just trying out some stuff uh, when Sean was on, so I was trying out Grid. So, it's good. I mean, the feedback and all that feels really good. The sounds are good. So... Right, uh... Yeah, it, it did, didn't it? Yeah, so definitely. Eh, uh, Callum, it varies really. Um, certainly always did do. I've, I've been a little bit more busy since I've been down at Marks, you know, with just different things going on, so. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I always played more offline than I did. did uh, sorry, off stream than I did on stream. I know hiding the M&Ms, yeah. <laughs> Something you can't really eat, you know, while you're streaming, really, you know. It's, uh, it doesn't sound too good on the old microphone. Uh, Ryan, no, he's, uh, I'm, I'm just away up to bed, so he's just getting this bit of free time to sort some stuff out, you know. Original grid F3 cars. Ah, I did the shot. I remember um, what Mark and I, we had grid autosport, which was, which was okay. No, it's good. I mean, it hasn't got triple screen support, so the screens look a little bit stretched, but as, as Sean, when you could see it, you know, it looked absolutely fine, really. Sounded really, really good. Sounds a big part of it for me as well, so, you know. Uh, Callum, a bit of, yes. <laughs> It just depends, I mean, you know, it depends how comfortable I am, uh, you know, during the during the day. Sometimes I used to try and do, when Mark was busy, I would try and do two streams, you know, which is okay for a couple of, a couple of days, and then it, then it takes its toll, you know. Oh, I think I can go that way, can't I? Oh, Ralph, just on the Chinese. Yeah, wait till Sean's. Wait till you've got your uh, your rig. You'll be uh, you'll be after after playing all sorts. But hi, Omar. I will. I will have a nice journey. Yeah, I've got. I don't know whether I'll get the whole thing done. I'll do my best. Can we do more drifting? I mean, Mark's the the drifter, so. He gets asked a lot about uh, a set of courses drifting, I've got to say. Right. Ah, right, Finley, sorry, I didn't see what you were asking, buddy. Eh, uh, Jack, I'll, I'll try my best to get this... this uh, delivery done. See if I can get it done. I can, Fent. Yeah, it's dark outside, so I don't know how well it'll uh, come through, but... 
that's that's the big truck. There's no sort of easy way while I'm driving to show you. No spring chicken gaming. Good morning to you. I will raise my cork to you. Could do with the Chinese. After I finish streaming, I'm going to have cereal. Crunchy nut cornflakes, that's what I'm going to have. I've been farming since 4.30 and just got home. Oh my days. Really? Next. That, I mean, that's some hours that. <laughs> Uh, real, I've got, um, what are the concrete beams, I think? Uh, yeah, concrete beams. Cork for the win. I don't know what the beeping is, but something. Hiya, shimmy. Well, I know, next, I know what you, I know what you're saying. It, yeah, you're right. It's, it's getting that balance, isn't it? You know, hard work and getting it to pay off, and family life as well. Oh, Smith one. Well, you must have done some mileage, and if you've been on since two p.m. I'm not Ralph. Uh, on the map, I'm down in the south of France, so I'm heading along the bottom to to Italy. It's a shame it's uh, night time, but you know, looks good on the uh, GoPro though. I've got to say, looks really, really good. Eh, uh, Carl, I mean, for, I couldn't even tell you. I started, when I first started, I can't think how many years ago now, 2014, something like that. Mark got me interested again. I, I managed to get £3,000 together to get me a computer and as much of the steering and pedals and things like that as I could. But if you spend £1,500 on a, an actual gaming PC, it doesn't leave you an awful lot left. That's why we, I hand built, um, scratch built my first rig, just to get us going, you know. I uh, didn't have enough in the budget to just go and buy a rig as well, so. And then y you just get what you can, uh, when you can, and we, we've been in a lucky position to get a lot of help uh, from uh, various people, so. I don't, I don't, Ralph. Uh, I used to live very close to Ireland, up in uh, the Eastern Ra, but I've moved back to live with Mark and Emma. Eduardo's, is it real? I know it's. Yeah, uh, sometimes when you've got no lights and that on, if you do, if you're in the dark, it, it can feel like you actually just are in the truck. I haven't got pro mods on at the moment, no, but uh, if I'm going to be doing more trucking and enjoying it like this, I will uh, I will definitely get it in. It's very, very easy to put in. You just need the extra um, DLC. Uh, I live in County Durham in the northeast of England. Right, Shimmy, you want to buy three monitors, handbrake and other I want to start... Yeah, I mean, it, it can be a lot if you just want to go and buy everything in one go. Uh, try finding things, you know, on the second-hand market if you can. There's always people selling something, as, as, as Mark's done, you know. It's been able to help some people get things that they wouldn't have been able to get either, so... Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's a really nice wheel. I've never played with it much at all never really had the chance so but being able to get the rig sort of comfortable for myself so yeah yeah me and the Porsche wheel are, are at one now <laughs> wave <laughs> do you want me to wait I can wave at the oncoming traffic I used to do that all the time 
good old Porsche. Yeah, it's a good wheel. I can't remember what it was actually the replica out of. Marky. 918. Right, Ninja getting the 920. Yeah, good. Honestly, if you think even if you're getting it for your birthday, even if that's around 200 pounds, it's that's a good birthday present. Now, got to say. It. Yeah, pro game. I mean, you know, you'd be hard pushed to find anyone coming on complaining about it. And we have got some really, really fast sim racers who race with them. So. The, the more expensive you go, it's still doing the same job, it just does feel different. So it, you're more than going for the experience, uh, the driving experience, you know. Uh, it's not going to make you go faster, in some some ways, like even with the uh, load cell pedals, when Sean gets these ones, he's not drove them before, it, it will feel like I, I was faster before. It, your braking points are all different. Your muscle memory is different. You've got to push the pedals harder, so it can be a little bit frustrating. That, but you've got to stick with it. Ah, pro gamer. Yeah, three year old. I mean, that that's it. That does not. I mean, our stuff gets gets used a lot. Of course, it course it does. I, I'm not always on the wheel, but you know. We've got to like at least keep a spare. I told Sean to do the same as well. You know he's got a a good backup wheel. You know if something goes wrong, you've got to get your stuff repaired, and you need something to keep you going as well. I know Sean. There you go. I mean Sean will tell you. That's what I was telling Sean today. You know it's just he could probably get some good money for the for his uh, Thrustmaster, but you just want to make sure you can always. If you don't mind being out of action for a little bit, then that's that's fine. Then you sell on what you've got and put it up towards what you're buying. But uh... hiya, um, my ch I know an ninja. Yeah, sometimes usernames, especially for us people who read them out in chat, can be a little bit frustrating to get your get your tongue round. Uh, yeah, you're right, Next Muscle memory is the key point. But I mean, as I say, I'm not telling Sean about it, but then when he comes to try it, he'll, he'll understand what I meant, so it won't it won't feel such a shock. So he'll remember that and just think, yeah, I've just got to uh, keep on on it, chipping away. Potentiometer pedals, they're just like pushing the clutch in, so they're so light. Um, it doesn't matter how hard you push on them, the same thing happens, so... The load cell one, you do need to push it. Okay, program, thank you. Enjoy your sleep. Hiya, Ralph Lowy. Seems a long time since I've read your name out. Uh, Elliot, we, we, had, we have got Bus Sim 18, Mark and I, and we played it about the same amount of time because we tried streaming it. And uh, I don't know whether they've changed the people on it. Um, it wasn't finished in my opinion, or Mark's opinion, so the people looked terrible, so it was, yeah, there was just something about it. And what's the other one people have been playing, Om, Om, Omzi or Fernbus? Omzi. Prob probably look better, I don't know. Hi Sam, hi George. <laughs> yeah, George, I know, George has just changed the load cell as well, so. But we only sort of say things from our own experience point of view, you know, so. Ah, Omzi's good. That's ah, good to see. Oh, what did I run over there? Max in the, uh, on 5M, just having a look around on the, in the city, having a bit of relax. Ah, Ninja, you play a lot of Omzi. I mean, I've not, I've not played it, but it, it is difficult if you, if you then take into account the 
an another another game to play. You know, it's um, if you want to do a series on it anyway, you know, because that means you then can't do something else that you're playing, i.e., trucking or farming or, or racing. So, hey, Neil, good name that. Aye, right, George, yeah, just smash the pedal and slowly release, yeah, you've got it. I mean, George will understand, I mean, pushing the load cell for me, going back to a normal pedal would be actually more beneficial for my back, because you put quite a lot of pressure on and it pushes you back into your seat, which uh, does hurt, but it's just the experience is better, so I, I will carry on as long as I physically can. Ah right, Morgan. So right, what what have, what have they done in bus? I know they I know they put some support in for triple screen. Uh, I just don't know whether they changed the pedestrians. You know what I mean? How bad it was. I just heard you. Uh, no, you can get um, truck driver for console, but not Euro truck. Hi, Amster. Happy New Year. Yeah, so look, yeah, it's not uh, not on PS4, no. Yeah, I will, Ralph, he's, he's just got his headphones on at the moment, obviously, with, with me chatting around in the background and, and, and Mark on there talking with people in Discord and that, so. Ah, right, Ralph, you've got truck drive. Okay then, Ralph, uh, he's a bit of a platform for you. What would, is it, what positives and what negatives? Yeah. Home V Gaming over in Denmark. How are you to you? Happy New Year! Happy New Year to Denmark. Uh, right. Uh, I see what you're saying, George. Down for cars is really the only way. I get what you mean, George. Oh, I, I mean, I think you're getting it now, though, aren't you? Um, I mean, Mitch, he, he, he said he, he just struggled with general getting the sentence and things like that, you know, so... But I think if you're aware of it, I don't know whether George would told George the same thing, I don't know. But I'm, I'm sure it helps. Because you, you don't want to see your time is getting slower. Uh, and I know that happened to me as well because uh, I think my first set of pedals were V1s, I think. Uh, yeah, my stream is solid. Looking at it. Ah, right, truck drivers. So, what, all the trucks are just um, a plain wrapper? Hi Kyle, yeah, doing well, my friend, doing well. Yeah. Right, compared to Euro, it's rubbish. Ah, right. Ah, but I mean, the thing is, right, if you haven't got, if you've only got console, and you haven't got Euro truck, and um, and truck driver's the only one choice you've got, then would it be worth it? suppose it depends how much it actually is. Okay, Smith One, yeah, your journey is at an end. You've you've put some time in today. If you've been driving what eight hours now? Ah thanks Kyle. I mean that's what I'm after, just trying to find um a constructive criticism and, and you're right, you've played it a few times and for the console, because you haven't got Euro truck, so you found it, it's fine. Uh, right, it's, it's 40 quid. Right, yeah, because cause you can't go through Steam or anything like that, can you? So you can't get it cheaper. Which is a shame. Yeah, good eight hours in, that's good. 
Yeah, I don't know whether you're on uh, truck book, but you, you'll be getting the miles in. Uh, Ryan, he's um, I'm just dropping out on the. Um, yeah, so I don't know whether you see him actually logged into the city. I can't, I can't quite tell. He's just on the desk, though. A bit of a chillax. He's been a busy day. He was up early this morning and. He's, he's done a lot today, he really, really has. Ah, Smith one, I've got you. I mean, like I say, I, I didn't even have mine open uh, because I just forget about it, to be honest, uh, sadly. Embarrassingly so. Right, 30, 34 on Xbox at Game Run. Yeah, if you've got the Game Pass on Xbox, could you access that for free? Well, you know what I mean, within your Game Pass. I'll be able to tell Emma about it on her Xbox. Yeah, Kylo, I understand what you're saying. Uh, Knight uh, Smith. Uh, Ryan, you need the Discord link and all the information's on there. I think I actually, on our... Um, now I'm just thinking, on the gaming community page on Facebook, I'm pretty sure I pinned a link to it at the, at the top of the page. If my mind's right. Okay, Ninja. Hiya, Grant, how's it going? Marky is over there. <laughs> it's great now, because I can actually see what he's doing. <laughs> And I'll tell you what, the graphics on the... Uh, he's got his graphics turned up quite a bit now because because uh, he can. And uh, it looks awesome. Yeah, it really, really does look good. The detail is really good. Oh, prob probably better than expected, Grant, you know. Uh, a bit of sort of relief, really, when you start to... You know where you stand and you can... Um, you can start getting on, you know. Been really good. I've seen so many more people since I've been here. So it's quite lonely up the road at times, you know. Um, which, which you put yourself in that position because that's that's where you live. But uh, it's been so good coming back. It makes it a bit fuzzy. Uh, Let's see, see if it settles down any. Yeah, Grant, I mean, uh, you know, he's, he's well aware of that, you know, get a lot of people messaging, asking and things like that, so... Um, he will he will get back on it. I mean, from a streaming point of view, I mean, he, he can be in talking on Discord and have a bit of mess about, but uh, it's, it's different, as you know, when, you, when you're streaming it. Yeah, I mean, uh, nobody else has mentioned I mean, it is just my headset mic, so... Uh, I, I, I don't know whether it's turned up a bit too high, but no, I've been, I've been on quite a while now, so I'll... Yeah, he will, you're absolutely right, Raggy, he will. Mr. has been such a lot on his plate. Right, Elliot, been looking into driving... Autobahn, but don't know whether it's worth the journey. Eh, uh, for that's a that's a hell of a question. Now, ah, I know there's people who want to go over and do Nurburgring, but I've also spoken. Well, I didn't actually speak to someone directly. I heard the story of someone who went over there and crashed over on the Nordschleife, and how expensive it was to to get not only the car recovered but to pay for the damage that it caused which had never crossed my mind <laughs> that you would have to pay for any damage that you caused but uh, yeah that was a bit of a shock yeah yeah Ralph I, I, I didn't touch it so it might just be something in the internet 
Yeah, Elliot, I mean, but here's the thing, right? Say for argument's sake, in this local area, if there was a group of people who were going to go to the Nordschleifer and had never been before, if they drove, i.e. on a simulator, or just got used to the course on some platform console or whatever it is, it's got to be more of an advantage than going blind. Uh, right. It, it is, yeah. I mean, this particular, I think you, I think it was eighteen hundred euros to get recovered from the track, and I think it, to pay for the barrier damage, and it hadn't caused a lot of damage. Uh, but then you've got to actually get the car picked up from the track, from the, you know, and and do something with it. Yeah, very expensive. But just something you just don't even think about here. You kind of assume that you're going to be covered because uh, the track will pay for it. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, absolutely spot on, mate. Here's the thing, Sean. You get your simulator, you get everything put together. What's going to be the first thing you play? Must be something on your mind. Do you think I can't wait to uh, to get my simulator and play such and such? Listen, I I can't agree with you more than that. Uh, spending your money locally, going to, going to local track days, um, is good advice. Are you arguing, Cougar? How are you? Kylie Greenhill, another streamer, Jim. Yeah, Jimmy, yeah. Uh, uh, he certainly has. Yeah, I was watching his stream when he did that, yeah. Uh, ev everything you've just said, I can 100% agree with you, Kyle, and that was my take on it. If you could say to somebody, well, come and hire the simulator for an hour um, before you go, you know, maybe he's couple of times a week or whatever you know surely it would pay off even if you just I mean look at a console the tracks are so detailed the consoles are so detailed so even just going wrong with a controller in a car it's got to be more beneficial all right so Sean's going project cars too or a set of course mm. that'll be interesting Sean Project Cars, is, oh well, you know, you, you, you've seen it, but you've, Sean's been lucky enough to come round and see where everything takes place, which he's he's met, he's met Baby as well, Mark's, uh, Mark's PC case. <laughs> and uh, even though what we're talking with Sean about having open air cases and that, you know, our stuff's perfectly fine. But... Um, his new case is just epic. Uh, you might, you could say it's overkill. You could say it's, it's not needed. It doesn't matter. It just looks epic. <laughs> Are you a simulator guy? Yeah, he's not streaming it. No, he's just he's in the city having a look around, having a bit catch up with everybody. Um, it's, it's been a long day. You know, it was only just before twelve o'clock when he got on, so. Yeah, he's just having a bit of chat with everybody. I quite, you know, before um, Christmas and that, I quite like just sitting on the sofa, listening to him on, chatting and that, you know, it's quite relaxing, really. Hey, Ryan, he, play, he plays on uh, Mag Northeast RP. I think I've pronounced that right. Ha has his own server. Or they have their own server. Oh, when did that come down? That did some damage. Ah, Ralph, you have to play Minecraft. That's the second time I've heard that game's name today, Minecraft. I've never played it. Right, Lil, wish I had a setup like this, but I'm too young. 
honestly, that is the way to do it. I mean, even Sean, uh, you know, Sean and Mandy, they work really, really hard. And you just, he's taken the opportunity that uh, has, has come, come towards him, you know. But so many people want to buy this off mark as well. So he did the right thing. Uh, yeah, you know, there's lots of things come up on the sim marketplace, you know. Um, yeah, take your opportunity and, and, and grab it. Absolutely, yeah, building it up over time, yeah. There's not many people would just go and order everything in one go. I certainly haven't done it, and Mark hasn't either. Yeah, you add bits and pieces and... Hello, Pablo. And I'm sorry I can't pronounce your name all the way over in Japan, but hello anywhere. Right, I have had pain. It's hand. Ah, oh, no, back pain. I will I'll tell you. Yeah, I know that certainly, mate. It's yeah. It's just one of them things. You can only pain management is is key. So you kind of want someone to come and do something about it, but. You know, you can only just keep taking the tablets and... Uh, Mr. Wilson, I mean, I don't know if... Sean might tell you what the actual cost of the Evo simulator is, the actual rig itself. And then you, it's up to you what you put on it. If you bought second-hand pedals, steering wheel, uh, and a TV, you know, you can keep the cost down very, very small as small as possible or even um, Tech Neil who is our one of our resident aliens on project cars and all other such matter he races in VR but his wheel is a G29 I think and his actual setup is a, an old nail bar um, thing that he rests on on wheels and just a, a, a little stool he sits on. It really, really is as basic as that. I, I kid you not. And he's... I can't catch him. <laughs> so, having the equipment, it just enhances your experience. Uh, won't make you go faster. But it, it's nice. I mean, we, we spend a lot of time, Mark and I. So, as I was saying to Sean and Mandy, that this, this is like my car. And when I, when I get my other simulator back, and Max is like, Mark having a car. Emma, Emma's car is worth more than all of this. But people don't go wow when they see Emma's car. So it's it's the way people look at things. Ah, Raggy, right? Okay, yeah. If your wife's, uh, yeah, that, that's that's difficult. Yeah, um, Wiz, uh, Wilson, bit at a time, you'd be surprised what you can patch together, picking things up, because anyone who's going to upgrade, they're always selling something off, whether it's a, it could be a G29 and they want to go up to a Thrustmaster, it could be a Thrustmaster and they're going up to Husenfeld or Fnatic or Direct Drive and things like that always going to be something for sale even in the computers hey Carl Max I've met the woman absolutely never lose hope no that's homemade rig as that's what Mark and I and all people find it very very difficult to believe uh, I mean people wanted my old rig when I first got the track racer but it was just pieces of wood screwed together. I had to take it apart and, you know, pretty much break it to, to get it out the house, so I couldn't give it to anyone. Uh, but it's nothing that somebody else couldn't make. It's very, very easy to put something together. Right, Elliot, just mind me a lot of time, so... 
that's the thing, Elliot. I mean, that was echoed so much by myself. I mean, um, yeah, I've just it been to get into the position that I am. Um, it, it's a it's a choice, you know. You can lie down and you know just lay flat out and be a lot less, a lot more pain free. But um, you can't do that all day. So at some point you've got to try and do your best to uh, do something else, you know. Hey, Jay, all the way from Bolton. Same thing, Jay. I, I wish I could give you a, an accurate answer, but. We've never set out to just buy the whole lot in one go. So, if you know what we're using, you could probably um, try and piece it together yourself. I mean, these are 24-inch monitors, which I absolutely love. And the Fnatic gear that we've got, uh, you don't have to buy brand new Fnatic gear. As, as Sean's proven, uh, there is second-hand equipment about. If you know where it's coming from, I would be quite careful with higher end stuff, uh, just to make sure that it's in it's in good order. Yeah, that that's it, Sean. It it, it can be expensive, can't it? I, as I say, I haven't physically sat and worked it out. Uh, and we've been, you know, later on in life, we've been very very lucky f to get the support we've had. So. But again, um, if you went out and bought a, a car, I mean my wife's car uh, that she took back up to Scotland, it was it was under two thousand pound. So it's it's incredible to think, really. My simulator costs more than the car, but yeah, can't drive it around. Tractor Max. He's still here, as you know, he's, he doesn't go anywhere, but he's just been very, very busy over Christmas with myself and my wife's uh, situation and uh, and dealing with him, himself and, and, and Emma as well, so uh, it's been quite a lot to manage. You need pretty, you know, to be able to just sit and game and there's other things going on in the background. Uh, he's got a young pup as well, you know, so... Um, I've been quite lucky to have the spare time to to just sit tonight and uh, and game as well. So we'll get back to it, you know. There's uh, there's three of us in the house now, so it's so we'll be able to get a lot more done. Just wanted to make sure Emma was really really comfortable where she was. She's given up a perfectly good living room, which she could have still been in. So we've had to make sure she's as comfortable as uh, as we are here oh as, as soon as he can Carl I mean uh, you know he's, he's on the desk at the moment he hasn't even had his his new rig uh, tried out or fired up you know so um, he just wants to make sure that all works as well but just catching up with a few friends on 5M and a bit um, a, a bit a bit of chat as well you know Right, tractor. Um, oh yeah, it's absolutely fine to to, to ask uh, where he's been. You know, he's, everyone's used to him being around, so you are owed an answer, I think. But he's certainly not hiding anywhere. He's been very, very busy. I mean, Sh Sean would know because he's <laughs> and other people who Mark spoke to today will also vouch uh, for that. Yeah, he's never not doing something. And in fact, I don't even think Sean's been wrong where Mark's been just sat watching telly. <laughs> it just doesn't do it. Okay, Morgan. Uh, Ryan, I mean, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow night. If Mark gets a chance tomorrow to get his rig fired up and make sure that's okay, uh, I'll be on. So, we'll get back to some normality. It's been nice getting caught up with a few people that have been around to see me as well, you know, so... I didn't have that up in Scotland where you would get people pop around to see you, so people just want to check and see you're okay and that, which is nice. Right, uh, Amplify. 
Uh, I was going from, uh, where, but where did I go from actually? Laverne, I'm going to Laverno in Italy, and I don't know if I was in, I can't remember where I actually started from. Uh, it doesn't say on here where I actually started from, I can't remember where I was. Somewhere in the south of France. I am Callum, yeah, permanently living with Mark and, uh, and Emma. No, no plans to find uh, a place of my own. This 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 will be home, so I've been able to try and help out as much as I can with Mark and Emma as well, so we can make the home as comfortable as possible. Uh, you know, the, the help they're giving myself is, well, I can't tell you, it's it's an, it's incredible really you know so yeah I got killed yeah I got, I got dumped yeah <laughs> so yeah one of them situations but you know people deserve to be happy as well so you know it's not a it's not a bad thing really you know Hey, a chisel. Right, what's the chances of us getting out of here? I was on, I can't remember what road I was on. I wasn't streaming, but uh, there was something very similar. And yeah, you, you had no choice but to go around them because the front truck wouldn't move. And I think I probably will. Are they moving? Right, it's a bit naughty, but don't tell anyone. Ah, there's plenty of room. Get a battleship through there. Yeah, I just got a funny feeling that that truck will not move. I ah, know, absolutely, Chris. As I say, I did come across it somewhere else and sat for ages and it never moved. So, time's getting on. I've got places to be. <laughs> I'll take the fine. Uh, Amber, I mean, it's, to be fair, it, it is something when I get my other rig back. It would be great to be having the GoPro on here and Mark's GoPro behind and, and both trying to drift. I know Mark can drift, but... So, it, it is something I would like to learn to do. Never thought I would say that, I've got to say. Um, but it, it, it is it is clever, it's not, it's not easy. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's places I've been before on roundabouts and things like that, you know, where the the cars pull out in front of you and things like that, so you just got to watch for it, haven't you? Uh, it's like when you when you uh, run to the back of someone and you were reading chat, it doesn't really... <laughs> that would be an excuse for the police, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm, I mean, that's what I'm wanting. Uh, when I was up the road and you can't like actually watch someone do it, or it's very, very difficult to give an instruction over the like Skype to, to try and help somebody. So, but like I say, we've got so much ahead of us. Um, that's why I keep saying to Mark when he's panicking about getting on the stream and that, and I'm like, you know, just, just, just take your time, you know, don't have to panic. Everyone, as long as people know what's what's going on and what's happening, people are generally, generally fine. Yeah. And, and people he's interested with through Discord, as, as Sean would vouch for, you know, people generally know what's going on, so. Yeah, the Will Raggy, absolutely. In fact, uh, I think things I would say would be better than normal, because been here uh, will make it better than normal. Ah, uh, thanks, Yorkie. I mean, again, uh, one of the one of the things I noticed uh, being on last night 
uh, for that reason, you know. Um, we, I mean, we never even got our tea till like late. I think I don't know if it was eight o'clock or something like that. It was uh, um, something like something stuff like that, you know. So we we just haven't had much time at all today. But there was no hassle. Whereas before, you know, I was having to finish my tea and make sure I was ready for half past seven. Mark was trying to do the same. Everyone just got in from work. It doesn't always work like that, you know. Sometimes you need that bit of flexibility. So we can use the schedule function on the stream to let people know that we're going to be live in half an hour or whatever. So, uh, yeah, having an actual time per se doesn't really make mean, you know, we don't have to do that all the time. Amber, you play truck driver on Xbox. Well, what's your... I'm going to tell Emma about it, actually, in case she does want to do a bit of truck driving. I mean, Mark might actually get it just so we can actually try it, just so we can actually see what it's actually like, you know. Uh, Argue and Cougar, a uh, great son and a uh, fantastic daughter-in-law. Uh, Emma is uh, uh, one in a million. She's a, she's a gem. And seeing her face today with a getting a few things that she's had lately. I mean, Mark and I, over the years, we've always had hobbies, so we've always had things. Uh, Emma kind of grew up in a household where they didn't really do that kind of thing, so it's been nice seeing her have things that she's kind of wanted, and yeah, it's really, really good. Good seeing that come together for her, I've got to say. And we're down getting a few soft furnishings for her for a three piece and things like that you know and it was uh, yeah really really nice uh, I don't get I don't have a football team at all that I support uh, the only one I can remember was Liverpool but it was only because they were on I think back in the 70s I think they were just on a lot and I was a young boy playing football out with my, 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 my pals and my brothers and yeah and you were always somebody when you were playing football. I always liked to pretend I was a particular player. So, <laughs> absolutely, two very, very special people, very, very special to me. And uh, Emma keeps saying, you know, thank. Yeah, all right. I've, I've only got uh, 50 kilometres. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I'll be a matter of. Um, matter of minutes. What? Well, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's incredible, isn't it? But yeah. So I'll just get this dropped off, and then I'll. Uh, I'll. Uh, yeah. Are you still playing? Are you? I saw. I'm pleased. I was just. I was just sort of just saying everyone, it was it was nice to see, you know, nice to see, just uh, having a bit blast around. Yeah, okay, so. Hiya, Brandon. Right, uh, Jimmy, you got truck driver on the place for us, no, oh, it's not Euro truck. It's, well, that, that's the thing, and that's what somebody said. You haven't got Euro truck, so you can't compare it with Euro truck. If Truck Driver is the only trucking game you've got on the console, then it must be the best one, if that makes any sense. That's how I would look at it. Uh, I mean, what, what's, what's people's thoughts? Uh, you know, have you enjoyed uh, having some trucking to, to watch, you know, late, late on? Because we're going to have the opportunity to do uh, different things as well, and, and stream different things at, at the same time, so um, which is going to be good. Mobile player, <laughs> it's it's a good game to play, and it's so in 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 this with these screens and that I really really enjoy and having the smaller screens. So wasn't sure when I first. You know, I thought, you know, I've got to be sitting here playing for a good while, so um, I'm used to big screens and slightly a bit more further away from me, so it, was, it took some getting used to, but yeah, definitely. 
so that's why I was so happy to, to have these ones off mark and uh, we were just going to sell the other TVs but we've uh, we've come up with a, a another plan for them which I think you'll enjoy when when you see it yeah someone someone will ban him there'll be a, a mod somewhere thank you it's 132 yeah absolutely yeah you're just that uh, that bit ahead of us right amber truck driver great for constantly you don't have to. Uh, absolutely i mean max and i have noticed uh, when he put the um battlefield on last night when, you know once you have everything updated you just turn it on and it works one of the massive drawbacks with a PC is when they don't work. Uh, getting things to work can be an absolute pain and anyone changes from a console to a PC and they have no idea. Uh, they can get very, very stuck very quickly. You can't just take it back to a PC shop every time either. Right. What a good drive that's been. In Italy, we are. Alright, find out where this has got to go. Hiya, Lewis. Yeah, Mark's doing, you're doing good. He's, as I say, his head's battered which is, you know, when you've been thinking about and organising stuff during the day, it's just... Yeah, he's, had a, he's had a busy day. He was up early this morning as well. Right, that's been absolutely brilliant, that. I'm so pleased with that. Ah, arguing cougar over in Holland. I don't know, I don't know if... Have I raised, the, have I raised my cork to you? Eh, yeah, Callum, I, could, I mean, it could do. Um, I just thought that uh, kind of just look at where you're going to go and just go with that, really. Just see what you fancy driving, really. Uh, I've not made any trucks. Right. That's been my truck of the good long journey. I do like that. I mean, I liked it when I was uh, multiplayer. I always liked the big truck in the end, so... It's nice to use a bit of different stuff as well, so. Alright, let me finish off that. And save that. Hello, Techno. <laughs> Sorry, Techno, I know you just you're just coming in when I'm when I'm going out. Uh, <laughs> I was telling everyone before when we were talking about simulators uh, how basic your simulator really is. And they probably wouldn't believe <laughs> how how basic it is, but uh, it, it certainly is. Anyway, everyone, uh, thanks for staying with us all this time. Uh, hope you've enjoyed that. I've, thanks very much for your company. Uh, keep your ears open for <laughs> yeah, it is pretty basic, I know. Yeah, keep your ears open for any sort of notifications and. Uh, We'll get something scheduled for tomorrow. Hopefully be doing the 8 till 10 stream. And uh, get that back on track as well. Because I don't think we've got particularly planned no visitors or anything tomorrow. So see you later everyone.